boats, two armored go-karts. We had these amazing little go-karts. I parked my talk about those. And my son now has them now. I've passed them on. They're the noisiest things you'll ever see. They're steel wheel bearings on the pavement. And uh, I don't know if any of you lived in the neighborhood, but you would have heard us when, you know, it wasn't just us. It was me, four or five kids. We all built these things. My dad bought home a lot of wheels. We built a lot of go-karts. And it'd be this big roar all the way down to Jim and Bill's house in one block. We weren't allowed to go any further because I'm not sure. It's steeper or more people. So, you know, I, and then the, the sailboats leads to windsurfers and the bikes. And I haven't talked about Whistler. You know, it's just, there's so much to talk about. And uh, you can kind of see why I never really wanted to grow up. And uh, there's just so much playing to do. And, and I, I kind of think sometimes secretly that he didn't want us to grow up either. It was, uh, you know, it was kind of more fun to play. But, um, and it, it occurred to me while I was writing this that if, if Dadder had Egypt as his childhood backdrop, we did one better because we had Dadder as ours. Egypt may have been fun, but it's no match for a mixture of caring, loving, and a busy Dadder. Um, it's a simple formula. One, he wouldn't have learned in engineering, but it, it would be used over and over again. And the final answer to that formula is right here in front of me, all of you. Thank you very much. tough act to follow, so mine's nice and short. Um, this is my attempt at perhaps a metaphor. Um, Dadder and I were like wind to the sails. Sometimes one of us would push and the other would hold tight. We would tack and the roles would reverse. He told me to enjoy Scotland when I went over for a year, and whatever I did, do not come back with a Scotsman. <laughs> I married my Scottish souvenir, Stevie. <laughs> As good sailors do, we fared all kinds of weather, but along the way we trimmed the sails nicely and worked together to reach a beautiful destination. I always feel one can never get enough of a good sail, especially this one. Right now, I've lost a bit of the wind in my sails, but as my family and I continue, continue to do all the things he introduced me to do, such as swim, camp, explore, hike, sail, and take photos as we go, we will be sailing again with all these great memories pushing us along on another journey. Well, brother and sister always like to make me cry, so <laughs> just so it's out there. Um, we are going to go on the Scottish steam here for a little bit. Uh, my daughter, Brooke, is going to come up and play Scotland the Brave on us before I give a little talk. So, come on up, Brooke. things here as well, I'll see if I can get through them. And, uh... um, it started basically, you know, I wanted to say thank you, like we've done, for joining us, and um, and a big thank you to my mom, who is hiding over there. The whole part of <laughs> I don't think it's easy having 100 people join you in, in a celebration of, of your, uh, your, the love of your life. So thank you for that. <coughs> um, and I guess, first of all, we, we, we're going to do some introductions. You met, obviously, my brother and my sister. Um, uh, my name's Colin. Uh, 
but that's actually my uh, my nickname. Oh, sorry, that's not my nickname. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, guess because I'm a middle child, I did grow up with a middle, uh, sorry, with a nickname. It's, uh, it's Corky. And uh, I'm, I don't know if it's better than my dad's nickname. I'm not sure if many of you knew, but... Yeah.